Hi guys, this is Dr. Neda with Keys of Health. We're still in the middle of this coronavirus pandemic and possibly waiting for the worst to hit us still. Uh, so it's really important to know about this topic from every angle possible. Right now, what measures are being taken, uh, what tops the list is social distancing. So let's talk about social distancing and whether it is really important or not. Okay, social distancing is a term applied to certain actions that are taken by public health officials to stop or slow down the spread of a highly contagious disease. Okay, so social distancing measures are taken to restrict when and where people gather, again, to stop or slow the spread of infectious diseases. Social distancing measures uh, include limiting large group uh, gatherings of people coming together, um, closing buildings and canceling events. And we are seeing this happening from, uh, from social gatherings, sports arenas, concerts, um, uh, restaurants, things like that. In order to really understand why social distancing is the smart thing to do at the moment, we need to look at some numbers. I will take U.S. Uh, as an example, okay? The United States has roughly 2.8 hospital beds for every thousand people, okay? Let that sink in, 2.8 hospital beds for a thousand people. And it has uh, 46,800 to maximum 64,000 medical intensive care unit beds, according to the uh, American Health Association. In the U.S., in a crisis situation, you can have up to 95,000 ICU beds at most. That is considering you have no other patients who need those beds. And we know that is not possible. Right now, most of those ICU beds are occupied. A modern pandemic would mean 1 million people needing hospitalization and 200,000 needing intensive care, okay? That is according to the latest report from John Hopkins Center for Health Security uh, last month. A severe pandemic would mean 9.6 million hospitalizations and 2.9 million people needing intensive care. The speed at which the number of U.S. cases is rising, hence we are headed in a bad direction. If current infectious trends hold, U.S. capacity may be overwhelmed as early as mid-April. Therefore, the only strategies that can help us get off this concerning trajectory uh, are those that enables to, uh, enable us to work together as a community to maintain public health by staying apart. I'm sure you have seen this graph. What does it mean? Simply put, it means that slowing it down matters because it prevents the health service becoming overburdened. There are a limited number of beds, limited number of ventilators, limited numbers of number of all the things that are part of supportive care that the most severely affected people will require. When that happens, health officials will have to start making calls on who gets the respirator and who doesn't. That's what happened in Italy. And this is what will happen anywhere in the world if situation gets tough. The, the emergency care doctors will have to make those incredibly difficult decisions. And often the people who will be sent home are elderly and people who have uh, slim fighting chances due to their pre-existing conditions. I want you to take a look at this uh, small animation, which gives a pretty uh, clear idea of what social distancing would do. If we, if we implement social distancing, it will prevent millions of people catching the virus all at once and burdening the healthcare system to the point it starts breaking down. If we all take a step back, stay indoors, live it down, and live responsibly, the entire community gets a fair chance. Otherwise, we all pay a price. We owe it to be responsible at a time like this to not only uh, give healthcare facilities a chance to cope, but to protect the vulnerable, 
the elderly, the immunosuppressed, the cancer patients, and many others who are high risk COVID, unlike the healthy majority. You cannot be selfish and say it is exaggerated or gimmicky. It is not. We are better off being overly cautious than undercautious. So please stay indoors, stay safe, take care of each other, take care of your neighbors. We all have a good chance of riding this pandemic if we row the boat together. Take care. I will see you shortly with another video. Meanwhile, please share this video and please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.